Sarah here and today I'm filming a arts video. So what I'll be filming is sort of a um, crayon melting art project. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah, um, this is my first time making it so sorry that it turned out. It turned out alright to be honest. So and sorry for the horrible camera quality. This is on my school laptop. So hope you guys enjoy this video and as they say, let's get on with the video. G'day guys, it's Joe here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some art. So today you're going to need four artist canvas, they can be any size you want. You can also have just one big canvas, it is completely up to you. But I have decided to go for four canvases. You're also going to need crayons of any type. So you can have a range of colours, I'm doing a rainbow, so from red to white. And I've put them out in colour order from lightest to darkest, as you can see. You will also need a hot glue gun with plenty of hot glue sticks. Go into the hot glue gun. Alright, so the first step is to take off all of the wrapping and place them in colour order of your desire. Again, I'm doing a rainbow, so mine will be going in rainbow. So these first um, square will be red, orange and yellow. I'm taking off the wrappers. It is personally up to you if you want to keep the wrappers or not. I personally think the wrappers look a bit weird when they're on, so I took them off. As you can see, this does take a bit of time. You can rip it off or you can cut it off. The second thing is to add um, hot glue to the canvas. So what you need to do is place the hot glue onto the canvas and then roll the roll the um, crayons onto the glue so that you have plenty of time to have the crayons to stick and plenty of time for it to still harden because if you go too slow the hot glue will harden way before it is actually done now it's up to you if you put them all the same length i did my crayons in different heights because i thought the effect would look cool but again it's completely up to you Here's a picture of how it looks. So again, color order is up to you. Also, please remember to have something underneath like newspaper because you're going to be melting. So you will need newspaper as well under everything. Now you need a hairdryer and what you're going to do is you're going to go full blast, full heat and just go at it with the crayons. So this will take a couple of minutes, um, probably will take a minute or two. Make sure you have a high enough, um, hot enough, make sure it's hot enough and also make sure that you have a stand that will support your crayons as you need the gravity to make sure that the wax will fall down. If it is lying down, it will not work. As you can see, the crayons are now starting to melt slowly but surely and they will come spitting out and onto your canvas. Again, it is up to you if you want the um, if you want the crayons to mix or if you want them just to go straight down. You are the artist; you do what you want. So I am just trying to get them to melt, as this is my first time ever making this. So I'm trying my hardest. As you can see, bits of it has melted, and I'm letting the gravity take its full by allowing it to just melt. Now I'm going to keep going until. The amount I want is dry, and by dry I mean melted. Again, you can go for as much melted as you want or as little as you want. It is up to you and how you create it. Please have parental help for the hot gluing and ask your parents if you need a hairdryer. If you do not have one, like I had to borrow my mum's because I don't own a hairdryer. So please ask parents permission first before doing this project.
That is how it looks. You also need to clean your hair dryer because some wax may go on there. So just um, it sh once you leave it to cool down, do not touch the hair dryer when it's hot. I repeat, do not touch the hair dryer when it's hot. Clean the hair dryer and you can see why you need newspaper everywhere because it splatters all over the newspaper. So just be careful with that as well. Now I'm going to be doing it again, this time with the greens and blues. So I'm just repeating the exact same procedure as before, but I'm just showing you guys how I did it and my color scheme. So again, it is up to you, your color scheme if you only wanna do one. I wanted to do the full rainbow effect. So this is how I did it. So again, I went from a yellow green to a dark blue because all of mine will be lined up together. So it's best if you put all your crayons in color order to the side of your canvas and then put them on. Now, as you can see here, I'm melting it again. So I personally think the blue one came out the best, but it is up to you guys which one you think came out the best. Let me know in the comments below. Again, just working on the pinks and so this one went from a purple to a gold. As you can see here so I've got dark purple purple maroon light pink pink peach skin color or the white color the kind of an orangey red to a gold so that is my color palette for that one Some crayons were harder to melt than others, so I suggest not using oil ones because for some reason they were a bit difficult um, because I'm not sure why. And the gold one was quite weird. I'm not sure if that was because it's an old crayon, but try and stick with the same crayons, the same type from the same brand because more than likely they will melt the same time. But if you have old crayons like I did I just got a bunch of crayons from some different pencil cases I found then that's completely fine too there just might be a bit of slowness or might not melt as well as you expected it to be Again, make sure to clean up your area as you go so then you don't have a lot to clean up at the end. So, so that is what it looks like when it's completely and utterly finished. So as you can see, I went down like this with the blow dryer and that is the mess it leaves. So please remember to clean up afterwards. Again, this is just hot gluing. Now I am doing the whites, the greys and blacks and a bit of browns at the end, I believe. Yes, whites, blacks and browns, as you can see here. I didn't have a lot, so make sure you put it, if you don't have enough to fill up the canvas, center it so it is center. This was not centered, as you can see. This is the final product of each canvas. So you have the black and white one, the red, orange and yellow one, The green to blue, which is my personal favorite again, because I like the color scheme and it just looks the best. And the pink one as well. So a bit of side by side, um, have a look looking at each other. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well considering it's my first art project by myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below and tell me which art piece or canvas was your favorite. And this is just a bunch of crayon wrappers to show that you are going to use or get rid of a lot of crayon wrappers. The camera quality. This is on my school laptop, so it's going to be pretty bad. But um, I thought I'd just do a bit of an outro. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, let me know what your favorite art piece was out of the four. So the red, the green, the 
brown and the black or pink and black so again let me know and if you guys do this post it um on instagram on twitter on tumblr on anything like that i will see it so yeah all the links will be in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching this video i had a ton of fun and i can't wait to see if you guys will do it or not so anyway drop out to guys in the next video sorry guys not let's bring for a very sarcastic hug bye bye Bye. <laughs> I was doing half of my outro for my gaming. Oops.